monetary policy is intervention in an economy through central bank actions, such as adjustments to interest rates, reserve requirements, and open market operations that affect the money supply and interest rates. Each country has one or more institutions with the authority to establish and enforce the nation's monetary policy. The goal of these institutions is to maintain stability in the economy and reduce the impact of fluctuations. The stability of an economy is affected by the aggregate demand, the total demand for final goods and services at a given time. Aggregate demand depends on consumption, investment, government spending, and the difference in exports and imports. Various factors can affect aggregate demand, such as differing levels of consumer spending and business investment. Because aggregate demand fluctuations caused by these and other factors can have a number of undesirable effects on the economy, monetary policy often responds to changes in aggregate demand. In the United States, Congress is responsible for the nation's monetary policy, but delegates the primary responsibility of monetary policy to the Federal Reserve. Three goals of the Federal Reserve are to ensure maximum employment in the United States, to maintain price stability, and to set moderate interest rates for the long run in order to promote economic growth. Addressing these goals is a constant challenge for the Fed in order to prevent both inflation and high unemployment caused by increases and decreases in aggregate demand, respectively. The Fed uses monetary policy to stimulate investment via interest rates, which is a component of aggregate demand. The Fed affects aggregate demand through various means. The theory of liquidity preferences suggests that interest rates are determined by supply and demand of money. According to this theory, high demand for money leads to higher interest rates. Borrowing money becomes more expensive and the money supply decreases. Because money supply and interest rates are linked, it does not matter whether policy is described in terms of money supply or interest rates. A change in one will produce a change in the other. As prices rise, demand for money also increases. The increase in prices also increases the interest rate, which can be described as the cost of borrowing. If the Fed wishes to increase aggregate demand, it can reduce the interest rate, which increases the money supply and shifts the aggregate demand to the right. If the Fed wishes to decrease aggregate demand, it can increase the interest rate, reducing the money supply, and shifting the demand curve to the left. The Fed's interventions in the economy are conducted through policy tools. One type of intervention involves a Treasury bill, which is a security issued by the U.S. Treasury Department representing a short-term debt obligation with a relatively low interest rate and a maturity period of less than a year. The process through which the Federal Reserve buys Treasury bills to expand the money supply or sells Treasury bills to contract the money supply is known as an open market operation. The Fed may also change the discount rate or change the reserve requirements. In addition, the Fed also sets targets for the federal funds rate, which is the rate charged for loans of excess reserves between banks to meet reserve requirements. 